Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning and Happy New Year, Calvary. This is Pastor Chad with your word for the day. Hey, do you ever feel, I hate to say this, but stupid? You know, like you just didn't get it. Like something was going on and it was obvious to everybody and you were completely clueless and, and you just missed it. Uh, look, I've been there. I've done that many times. And if you have, then you're in really good company. Matthew 17, verses 22 and 23 says, As they, the disciples and Jesus, were gathering in Galilee, Jesus said to them, The Son of Man is about to be delivered into the hands of men, and they will kill him, and he will be raised on the third day. And the disciples were greatly distressed. Now, um, I don't know if you realize this or not, but Jesus told his disciples about the crucifixion and resurrection. In fact, if you read through the Gospels, you'll find out that he told them this was going to happen three different times. Three times Jesus said, hey, the Son of Man is going to be handed over to evil men. They're going to crucify him. He's going to rise on the third day. He kept telling them that over and over again, and, and they got distressed. I mean, Peter argued with him in one case and said, no, I won't let it happen. And Jesus called him Satan. And then when it actually happened, when Jesus was handed over to evil men, betrayed and, and put on trial and condemned to death, they weren't going, hey, you know what? Jesus told us about this. No, they were despairing. They were running away. They were hiding. They were denying knowing Jesus. They, they just failed utterly until the resurrection, the empty tomb, the angel pronouncement. Jesus showing up in their midst is what it took for most of them to be convinced that what he said was true. But here's the thing. When they got it, they really got it. And it changed their life forever. So my word to you today is keep reading the Bible, keep studying, keep listening to sermons, keep attending life group, keep, keep at it because here's the thing, you'll miss it right up until the moment that you get it. When the Holy Spirit illuminates your, your heart and your mind and you go, now I understand it. How did I miss that? And when you get it, it'll change your life. So don't give up, persevere, and God will reveal himself and his truth to you. I hope that blesses you, and I hope you have a great day.